problems. You know, Students Association for the Blind, five years, very intense, and lot, lots and lots of, you know, experience. And uh, my only objective is to, you know, make the visually impaired recognized in all forums. When it comes to government, they have a step morally attitude. They never follow the law. And they try to, you know, literally loot the employment from the visually impaired. There is a quota which is available, which the government, very often, they try to snatch. And then we have to literally fight it out. We go to the streets and we literally, you know, uh, we do a lot of protest. We do hunger strike and they try to put us in a prison, you know. Yeah. And all those things are very, you know, challenging. And then finally, government have come down and they are, you know, accommodated. Yeah. Finally, we Change. taught them a lesson. Mm -hmm. And we too are capable of, for fighting our, for our rights. That was for five years. And six years I was with an institution for destitute, mentally ill, destitute women. We rescued the blind women from accident spots. Yes? Give it to your wife, the receipt, and oh, Thank you very much. Leaflet. Lovely. And here is a leaflet about one of the tours of the orchestra. I'll keep it in my... So how did you manage to raise the consciousness of the locality to support the school well, and, he, sorry, and, give was... and give money? How, how did do you... Well, then he was talking about the destitute this woman. Yes. Sorry. That's the because in that institution uh, they got some apprehensions. How can a visually impaired, you know, uh, work in this kind of atmosphere? And I uh, requested them to give me an opportunity. And uh, they, they always there is a a, a thinking that you know, always they say you can't. They there mm, is a mm, constant mm, you no know, yes. uh, slogan. Yes. Wherever you, we knock the doors of any corporates or any government offices, they will say, you can't. Yeah. So we say, knock the tea of its cart. You can. <laughs> so that's the message we yes. communicate to the mm -hmm. masses. C A N T. Yeah. If you knock the tea, then you can. Exactly. So always tell people, don't try to underestimate us. Give us an opportunity, allow us to perform. Then you make an assessment, you evaluate. Before doing that, you jump into a conclusion that we are incapable and we are incapacitated, which is rubbish. And today, to run this establishment, there were a lot of people, how do you differentiate a 500 rupee and a 1000 rupee? How do you manage? How are you able to no, run the show? No one questions how you people are able to come from UK to India. Uh, do you have knowledge of uh, no uh, running a flight? No. You take assistance from a pilot. He does the entire operation. And you are happily, you are enjoying in your, you know, in your respective seats, you try. When it comes to visually impaired, they always have several questions. Of course. And no one has got the, and we always say, this gymnastic person, anyone who does gymnastic, you would have seen how he is able to somersault, 
able to genuflect. He is physically fit and you are physically fit. And you fail to perform as you see this gymnastic press because he is practicing religiously and he is able to master the art and he is able to perform. His disability has got no role to play. But he is physically fit and you are physically fit. You are unable to perform and he is able to perform. The only difference between you and a gymnastic person is the practice, mm -hmm. the train. Yeah. That's the only thing, that's the key. So we tell them, anyone who practice, anyone who undergoes a vigorous training and he masters the technique, this disability has no role to play. Let's not see disability as a, no? So is that a question? Yes, okay. Yeah. Do you think the problem then is the sight of people sometimes are just ignorance of what uh, visually impaired people can actually do uh, so well? They just don't know employers, maybe they're worried about you know, whether a visually impaired person can work in their business or that type of thing. Is it just sort of, uh, ignorance uh, from sight of people and fear? No, I don't see they are in fear because they are a bit uh, sympathised mm -hmm. and they are showing their, their uh, demonstrating their their, uh, you know, bit of an emotions. They are more, they pity us. What, from the visually impaired community, we have to create more and more role models. Sure, sure. because you don't want to be pitied. Yeah. So seeing is believing. Mm -hmm. Today, people say, okay, a visually impaired is able to run an administration successfully, is managing the show. So now, this part of the no city people no have got some confidence. Mm -hmm. We are able to edify the confidence level. Mm -hmm. So it's a confidence building measures. Once people start seeing that uh, our performance are on par with sighted people, mm -hmm. this uh, ignorance, the fear, and the reluctance mm -hmm. it literally it disappears. Yes. So rather uh, uh, blaming the fate or accusing the uh, the sighted people, mm -hmm. we need to pull up our song, we need to really work hard. Yes. So that's why we tell our people to develop your skill sets and try to get acquire your qualification. Mm -hmm. Once you're qualified, once you're skilled, yeah, yeah. opportunity will knock your doors. Mm -hmm. I mean, sure. turning to the music then, I mean, how many students do you have here that are doing music that are good at it that maybe could make money out of it in the future? No, there are only, now we have said there are two or three. Two or three, okay. No, not, not everybody are keen on But another thing, I myself will face a financial uh, problem because uh, getting an instructor yes. is very expensive. Okay. This is very, very difficult to manage mm -hmm. our music school yes because uh, people here in our country there's a myth belief donating rice donating food vegetables eatables which they believe they are serving to the god we tell them we are not feed animal mm -hmm. we tell them we are no yeah. human beings we are productive, we are very constructive and here the donor's mentality, mm -hmm. they are willing to fund only for feeding. Yeah, whereas you need a donation of uh, for training, time and and training, yes. Training, you know, those are the areas we need. We tell them that we need salaries, mm -hmm. someone who can sponsor. Yes. If someone is going to sponsor that money, I'm, I'm, we got good infrastructure. We call equipments. We need a person unconditionally. Mm -hmm. If he says you only should teach for Christians, you only should teach for Muslims or Hindus, we'll say no. Mm -hmm. And there are people saying we only who, teach for money. Yeah? We only teach for money. <laughs> and how much is the salary of a full time music teacher? Uh, ranging about 15 to 20,000. 
a month. Hmm. Well, that's, not, that's not a bad salary. No, it's very good. Here people, they demand. A lot of this uh, TV channels, they do a lot of shows. And a lot of the magicians are great demand. We get people for 5,000, 3,000. Quality is not there. Maybe you pay. Maybe school and Punjab, do they have blind teachers, music teachers looking for work? Mm, no. They are in the same condition. This is an ashram for old people. So there is no...